cracking, everybody. Welcome to Boo TV. While you're here, do me a big favor and like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you stay notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate you for watching. Thanks for the support. And let's get into the topic for today. Genki deska, Genki deska. The Brooklyn Nets loss to the Boston Celtics in Brooklyn, 109-98. Utah Watanabe came off the bench and in 21 minutes of play had 5 points on 2 for 5 shooting, 1 for 3 from 3 point land, 1 assist, 1 turnover for a minus 16 in the box score. Let's check out Utah Watanabe's highlights. Watanabe for, oh, air ball. <laughs> yeah. Watanabe for, air ball. Ooh. Ah, good job running out on the floor. Great pass by Ben Simmons as well. Ooh, good deflection up there. Block shot rather, not deflection, but block shot. Bang, bang, bang. Best spot up three point shooter in the league percentage wise. Over 50% is Utah Watanabe. All right, great run out on defense right there by Utah Watanabe. All right, good move there. Ooh. That was a saucy, that was a saucy no look pass by Utah. Good size, good mobility, good passing. Oh, good pass as well. Foul, but that, that, that was a nice look. There you have it. Um, I expected a little bit more. I think Utah Watanabe should still see more shots, especially in the absence of Kevin Durant. Now, I knew that um, Joe Harris, um, TJ Warren, and Watanabe would see increased minutes in the absence of Kevin Durant. They have to make up for the the scoring that Kevin Durant provides. I'm not saying that Kevin Durant just only scores. No, Kevin Durant is a complete basketball player. Make no mistake about it. But uh, especially at them playing KD's position, they would get more minutes. Um, didn't know who would get more. I, I figured TJ Warren would probably get the most. Wasn't sure between Utah Watanabe and Joe Harris. Um, but Joe Harris played 29 minutes. Uh, TJ Warren played 28 minutes and Utah played 21. So definitely an increase from what we've been seeing lately from Utah Watanabe. Um, but at the end of the day, I still think he needs more touches. And you can't have somebody that is that dynamic and that incredible of a spot-up shooter and not run more plays for him. Don't get me wrong. Joe Harris can shoot the three-point spot-up. Joe Harris can be a great spot-up three-point shooter as well, no question about it. I believe Joe Harris, if I'm not mistaken, even won a three-point competition. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I think he did. However, Utah Watanabe is tried and true and proven this season and is statistically the best three-point shooter in the league percentage-wise, especially on catch-and-shoot attempts. So we have to see him get more looks. You know, Kyrie Irving, don't get me wrong, Kyrie can really shoot the ball well. From three-point land but he went three from 11 from three-point land and he's not as good of a three-point shooter as watanabe probably better than watanabe off the dribble um but as far as running some plays to get him some easy catch and shoot opportunities you know run some screens uh set some screens um find the open man type of thing i think they need to do more of that for utah watanabe right i, I don't think three Three three-point attempts with no Kevin Durant for the best shooter in the league, technically, um, is good enough. All right. And I hope that, you know, we could see him get somewhere between 25, 26 minutes. But I think Coach Jock Vaughn is just going to go what's working well and keep pushing it. Uh, you know, pushing the button that he needs to for that specific game. So, like, next game, Utah Watanabe might start off a little bit strong. Joe Harris or TJ Warren might look a little lethargic, and he's probably going to, you know, push that Utah Watanabe card out on the table a little bit more. And I think ten, I think that's how Jack Vaughn tends to coach more often than not. But, I mean, uh, you know, he did get 21-plus minutes 
Um, but I just want to see him get some more shot, att shot attempts in. Excuse me. Still active on defensive uh, assignments. You know, active when the ball's not in his hands. We know that's what Utah Watanabe does on a regular basis. He's going to run out to shooters. How be it? Even if he's late, he's not going to stand there and watch him. He's going to he's going to run out and at least get a hand up and do the best thing he can to affect the shot taker and not make him a shot maker. Utah Watanabe needs more shots. Karewamoto Shoto Gahitseores. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Do you agree or do you disagree? I would love to hear your opinion. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mite kureti arigato. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.